hello all welcome back in this task we are going to plot some of the images from the data set so first of all let's select the row from the data frame so let's see this example number two okay so in order to select this example number two what we are going to do is we are going to use iloc in which we will pass our example number okay now let's read the image using cv2 function okay so cv2 dot i am read and in this i am read we are going to pass our image path so after selecting the column after selecting the row not the column so after selecting this second row now we are going to now we are going to select this column okay so basically we are going to select this path image path so that is going to be very simple row dot image path okay but this path is not fully completed so we are here going to add our data directory path so our train train images folder is present in this data directory path okay the next thing is the cv2 reads images in bgr format so we are going to convert into rgb so image equals to cvt cv2 dot cvt color in this we will pass our image then cv2 dot bgr to rgb okay that is going to be color bgr to rgb okay now let's plot the image so plt dot i am show image okay so you can see here we have successfully plotted the image now let's also plot the bounding box so that is also going to be very easy so bounding box image bounding box image equals to cv2 dot rectangle image comma now here we are going to pass the x mean and the y mean first so our point one point one equals to row dot x mean comma row dot y mean Mean two equals to row dot x max comma row dot y max and let's use this created points here now we are going to color our bounding box so let's keep the bounding box as color red and the size that is the strip size is going to be or line size let's take two okay and instead of image now we are going to pass here bounding box image okay so far so good let's run this sir okay so we have successfully plotted the image with bounding box let's try another example so at example number 124 we have eggplant so let's try that 184 we have the eggplant okay so let's run this sir. okay so you can see here so you can try another example also 
now what we are going to do is we are going to split our data set into training and validation as this data set is very small so you can see here we have only 186 examples so what we are going to do is we are just going to split our data set into training and validation we are not going to create any test set so during the inference time we can uh, we can take validation set as test set so train df equals to valid df equals to train test split in which we are going to pass the data frame from which we want the splits and test size is going to be 0 0.20 then random state let's take 42 okay let's run this sir so in this task we have successfully plotted the image with the bounding box we have also splitted our data set into train and validation in the next task we task, are going we are going to write the augmentations using a library called albumentations so albumentation is a very well known library for data augmentation for various tasks like classification segmentation object detection key points detection so particularly we are going to use albumentation here for localization task or detection task so let's first run this cell okay so augmentation for localization or detection task is different this is because uh, if we see augmentation for classification task like this if you rotate this image if you rotate this image to a 20 degree its label is going to be same so its label is going to be eggplant only there is not going to be any effect on the label if you rotate this image to the 20 degree but for the case of detection or classification task it is different if you rotate this image to 20 degree its bounding box will also rotate at 20 degree if you flip this image vertically its bounding box should also flipped vertically so you can see here there is a difference between a difference uh, between the augmentation for classification task and augmentation for localization or detection task so for that here we are going to use albumentation so albumentation is very well known library as i have to already told and uh, in that we have various type of task we can use uh, albumentation for segmentation detection and also classification so here we are going to use albumentation for detection augmentation task so let's first write augmentation for train data set so train aux equals to a dot compose okay this we will pass the list of all the augmentation that we want first let's start with the resize now the image size is already declared in the configuration task so image size is 140 by 140 okay now the next is the horizontal flip so a dot horizontal flip and the probability for flipping is 0 0.5 okay okay so also we are going to do vertical flip vertical flip and its probability is also going to be 0.5 okay and uh, also let's declare rotate is rotation okay now the next thing is as this is specially going to be for detection or localization task so here we have to mention bounding box parameters okay 
a dot b box programs b here is going to be capital and p also capital okay and in this our format is going to be pascal voc pascal voc and also we have to specify the class field or label field so label field label fields okay its name as class labels okay so far so good now we are going to do the same for the validation augmentation but different thing here is we are just going to apply resize because it is a validation we will not do any type of other augmentation so let's erase okay let's run this up okay so this is going to be label fills inside B box params okay so far so good let's run this cell again okay so in this task we have successfully written the training augmentations and the validation augmentations in the next task we are going to create a custom data set which will give us the image and bounding box pair according to the given index so we are going to do the same t same task as we have done in the understand the data set but in a proper class and method format so see you in the next task